the Homegrown Revival started as an answer to an education question about local food. I mean, it was, it was kind of new here to have a entirely local menu. I would serve things like grass-fed steaks or uh, goat chops and um, the general public wasn't so into eating those items as I thought they would be, so I felt like people would be more into eating local food if they knew more about it. The dinners are also utilized as a place for Sonia to test out recipes and to build a database of local food-based recipes uh, and for me to help disseminate the knowledge of what local food is to our diners. With the Future Foods dinner, I've always kind of had an obsession with Soylent Green and the Charlton Heston 70s sci-fi movie. I wanted to kind of do what I thought the future of food looks like as far as sustainability goes. The future tastes good. A lot of that had to do with, you know, uh, blue-green algaes and seaweed and aquaponics and you know, eating crickets, and it, it did take a long time in the making, probably longer than any of the dinners we've ever done. The menu was a challenge, but I wanted to kind of give the idea that in the future, like, eggs and bacon to me are, might not be available, and thinking about the sustainability of the planet. So if we had to grow just food hydroponically, like those, those foods would have to represent bacon and eggs. So I drew them out on the plate to kind of psychologically make the idea of bacon, even though it was kind of squiggly bacon. <laughs> so the, the dinner has evolved over the last three and a half years to, to be fine-tuned and to be a, a good process to be able to educate the public. But, you know, from just positive responses of patrons at the dinner initially to people now wanting to volunteer, people spreading the word, um, and then people going home testing recipes and sending us ideas. This is how it's involved into a community building aspect and I think that that's something that we're proud of where people want to be involved. They, they want to feel ownership and um, I think we're pretty excited about what's, what's been happening to it, especially here in Austin. Uh, one of the, the fun aspects was through social media, through our email, um, and even through word of mouth, there was a very positive response to the Future Foods Dinner and that they wanted to say thank you for uh, getting us to try something that we wouldn't normally. And I personally, I believe that we just need to not have anything resembling any kind of chain restaurant and anywhere ever. <laughs> I don't want to support big chain places. I think that's the revival is basically we need to go back to basics on growing and cooking and I mean the, the, the chef driven restaurants, the ones that put their love and heart into food. And I mean that's one of the things that we've always fought for with the home growth building community through food.